but three times like within about two days to a week the battery has died i don't know what's going on i don't think tesla knows at this point what's going mm -hmm. on like Tesla so I was not planning on filming today but of course something has happened that I want to share with all of you guys today our Model X key fob has officially died and it is probably one of the most inconvenient times we are getting ready to fly out of town tomorrow and I don't have time to change the battery right now um, but this is something that my car was kind of giving me some warnings. It was saying, keep up undetected. I let things go. I probably shouldn't have. I can still get into my car. I have a backup key fob. My husband never uses his keychain ever because he has the Model 3 and it's connected to his phone. Also the app. And then there's one more way that I am gonna show you guys how you can still get into your Model X if your key fob dies. First, I wanna tell you about Climb and Exchange Tesla Raffle. They're raffling off a fully optioned Tesla of your choice and they'll pay the taxes for you. One raffle ticket gets you a Tesla of your choice or cash and it helps a great cause for this nonprofit. For more info, check out carbonraffle.org and good luck. So what's really cool about the Model X and the Model S key fob is that they have an NFC. So even if the battery's dead, they still can communicate with your car. So if this happens with the Model S, there's actually a little area right around here that you hold it for a couple seconds. And with the Model S, the door handles would extend, you know the car is open. With the Model X, you actually have to wait for the mirrors to open and that's how you know that the doors are unlocked. And the spot is a little different as well. You go to the driver's side, Falcon Wing door, and it's right around here. You have to find the right spot, hold it for a couple seconds. And there you go. It will actually open up the doors to your car. So once you're inside your car, there's actually an area right underneath the 12 volt outlet where you can put the key fob. And there we go, it turns on the car. Over the next week, we spent time with family in Southern California while we explored the area. Wow, it's right there, guys. Pretty much all the kids wanted to do when we came here. And while there, I came across a few Tesla owner forums discussing a possible design flaw or weakness in the Model X key fob. According to owners, the Model X fob, at least at some point during production, was not equipped with the non-volatile RAM and can lose its unique ID with a total loss of power. Tesla even told one owner that since the fob uses both RFID and Bluetooth, that if left dead for too long, it may lose its ability to be paired back with the vehicle. To top it off, I even came across our own Uncle Mark's post, who had an equally mystifying but not identical issue with the Model X fob. And our very own Uncle Mark, you might remember him, he's been in a video a few years ago. For me, going from a Tesla to another car, it's like giving up your iPhone and going back to a flip yeah. phone. And he's had some issues with his Model X key fob. Can you explain what's been going on with your key fob? The error message was coming, the battery is low on my key fob. I went to the dealership, they couldn't replace it because I had a custom a cover for my key fob. They gave them to me, I replaced it, then it died. Then I said, okay, it might be the battery. So I ordered another one from Amazon, I put it on, it died. And uh, so I've been using the car with my, uh, with my app. And two weeks ago, I went to the dealership and explained what's going on that the you know, battery have now i've replaced it twice the battery is dying and um so they gave me new set of batteries and uh, they replaced it actually mm -hmm. at the dealership and um as soon as i left there the the message was on that the battery is low and i stopped and i asked the guy i say hey my battery is going to die can you do anything about it? He says, no, 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 go home because you, you have to change the battery on your other key and th that'll make the message go away. The very next day, the battery died again on my key fob, but three times, like within about two days to a week, the battery has died. I don't know what's going on. I don't think Tesla knows at this point what's mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. So it's definitely something else that's draining the batteries. Yes, I think so. I think somehow, because once you stop the car, the, bat, the key fob, after certain minutes, it needs to stop communicating with the car. 
I think what's happening, it is not communicate. It doesn't stop communicating with the car. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, uh, I keep the key fob far away from the car. Do you remember if the first time it died, if you were able to change the battery right away, or if maybe? Um, you know, on one of them, uh, that's a good point. Uh, when one of them, when it died, I didn't change the battery. I just went and got my spare key until that one died. So that one sat for a long time. See, and that's what I'm worried about because ours died right before we came to LA. Oh. And I didn't think about it. And I said, okay, well, when we get back, yeah. I'll just deal with it and I'll change it then. But then, you know, as so we've been here a few days and I started reading about it. And now I'm like a little bit worried <laughs> well, that yeah. this is going to become an issue yeah. because there has been not a ton of people, but if you go online, you can read some threads about um, the Model X, yeah. specifically the Model X key yeah. fob that this has been I did not have show. that problem with my Model S. I had my Model S a little over three years. I never had to replace the battery. I never got the error message. One thing that I thought was really interesting, when I took my car for service, I said, look, my battery is dead for my key fob, by the way. And um, so we don't have batteries for Model X. We have to order them for you. The service center did not have batteries. And I think because it's a common problem, they keep running out of those batteries mm -hmm. because everybody, not everybody, but it's, I think yeah. it's more common than what we think it is. Well, hopefully yeah. we'll, we'll get to the source and find out what's happening. And I'm a little nervous now about <laughs> replacing our battery, but- No, um, when you get home, replace both yeah. of them. So we are back home from LA and it has been a little over a week now since the key fob to our Model X died. And I'm gonna go ahead today and replace the battery. We actually went to a Battery Plus store and purchased one because it was a little bit quicker than waiting on Amazon. So I'm using a flathead screwdriver. If you have the package that your key fob came in, it actually came with one. I can't locate it right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. What was interesting to me is the man behind the counter at the battery store took one glance at my CR2354 type battery and said, yeah, that's not one you see every day. He went on to tell me that only three manufacturers even make this type of battery, and fortunately, the only two he had in stock were by Panasonic, the same brand Tesla uses in its key fobs. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this open. So the Model X key fob battery is in fact different than what you'll find in the Model S fob. The S uses more common and smaller CR2032 battery types, which you can easily find at a grocery or drugstore, while the X uses the more rare 2354s, which you can find online, but that's not always the best option since they could be old or weak, hence why we opted for a battery specialty store. The process itself is pretty quick and painless with just a gentle pull with a flathead screwdriver that should both remove the battery cover and the battery itself with no problems. So we are gonna go ahead and trade out both batteries for the extra key fob and the new one because we've heard that that is recommended as well. Um, and then we're gonna go test it out. So both key fobs are changed out and we're going to go see what happens when we approach our Model X right here. So, okay. So it is working for us right now. Um, we're going to give it a week and we're going to get back to you guys and let you know if we have any kind of issues uh, with our Model X or the battery draining. Um, other than that, we're just going to go enjoy our car. So we've given it a week and in our case, we haven't had any of the issues that some have reported with the car no longer recognizing the fob or still indicating a low battery warning. So what's possibly happening here is either late build models like our late 2018X have a newly designed fob which resolved the fob recognition issues that so many people have reported. Or perhaps more likely it may be the fact that the CR2354 is a rare enough battery type and many people who purchase it online are coming across older or weaker batteries that don't function properly. We asked Tesla if they're aware of any issues with the Model X key fob when it comes to allowing the battery to fully die for extended periods of time, and we haven't heard anything back from them. But we do know for sure are some of these best practices for your key fob. One, store them as far away as possible from your vehicle at night preferably somewhere that doesn't experience extreme temperature fluctuations. And two, get in the habit of changing your fob batteries once per year. Do so for both at the same time, regardless of if one is weaker than the other. 
We learned that the car will remember your fob's unique ID and it will store the error message and won't forget it unless both fob batteries are replaced at the same time, initiating the system on board to recognize the change. Of course, the best solution would probably be what Elon himself hinted at way back in May of 2018 when he suggested all S and X will soon work with no key if your phone pairs with Bluetooth. I'd have to think this feature would have rolled out by now though if Elon wasn't advised against it at some point after sending this tweet out. Not sure if there are hardware limitations with the S and X or something more complicated that Tesla ultimately decided to not offer the automated Bluetooth entry. I guess only time will tell. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, learned a few things, and remember to subscribe to our channel. And thank you guys for watching. Till next time, stay current.